there are many ways to improve the quality of life and to extend it. One way to slow aging is through intermittent fasting, especially 18-hour fasts. Research in the New England Journal of Medicine shows that calorie restriction can lead to a longer life. When fasting, calories tend to be lower, which can impact insulin levels, weight, heart health, and cognitive function. Other benefits of intermittent fasting include lower inflammation and fewer free radicals. The magic of intermittent fasts has to do with timing. After a certain amount of time, the body burns through glucose, then eventually it burns fat. If no food is being digested, autophagy occurs, which means cells are recycled for new growth. This is why intermittent fasting is touted as a natural anti-aging treatment. Then at what point does autophagy occur? How many hours until this anti-aging and fat loss process begins? We have to fast for a certain number of hours and remain without food for the body to begin to heal itself. At the same time, there is a point at which no further benefits occur. For example, we don't want to fast for so long that we lose muscle. Thankfully, intermittent fasting doesn't usually lead to muscle loss, but it's still possible. Eating enough protein prevents it. According to the study that used 18-hour fasts in their experiment, this amount of time can lead to a decreased incidence of diseases, which include obesity and cancer. A few hours after eating, we transition into an early fasting state, where we use glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids for fuel. Blood sugar and insulin go down hours after eating. Eventually, after 12 hours, we begin to burn body fat for fuel. Burning fat for fuel is ketosis, but you can get to ketosis through a very low carbohydrate diet as well. It's important to note that each person's body is different, so some people will burn fat faster than others. This means that some people may need to fast for longer, and some may not need to fast for long in order to get anti-aging benefits. Each person will respond differently to intermittent fasting. Burning body fat around the waist and other areas may be the benefit most people desire. But for longevity, the anti-aging benefits become more profound after 12 hours. This is because when there's no food to process, the body begins to heal itself. We mentioned autophagy where old cells may be recycled to become young again. Damaged cells are also recycled, which scientists believe may be a way to prevent or even fight cancer and prevent neurological diseases. More research is needed to help us learn more about this process. Now we get to the connection between intermittent fasting and cognitive diseases. Intermittent fasting may also prove effective in reducing the incidence of Alzheimer's disease, according to a study in Cell Metabolism published in 2023. Like the previous study, the researchers in this study used 18-hour fasting. That makes us ask the question whether these scientists understand that 18 hours of fasting is an ideal amount to fast, or it's just a coincidence. In this study, they used mice that are genetically engineered to have high levels of beta amyloid, a protein that is commonly found in the brains of Alzheimer patients. To be clear, the mice had Alzheimer's, one group was on an 18-hour fasting protocol while the other group was not. Both groups were given the same number of calories. It was found that 18 hours of fasting reduced many symptoms of Alzheimer's, and the group of intermittent fasters had lower levels of beta amyloid and lower inflammation in their brains. The group that fasted also showed better memory than the group that had their calories spread out through the day. This is especially interesting since both groups ate the same number of calories. The only difference was that one group fasted for 18 hours. So is there a secret to anti-aging? It may be the effects of longer fasts. If you haven't tried intermittent fasting, it's easy to do. Eating the same number of calories but within a shorter window can be a great way to reduce inflammation, lose weight, and possibly prevent cardiovascular and Alzheimer's disease. In the future, we may even see research showing whether intermittent fasting can be a useful strategy to beat cancer. In the meantime, it doesn't hurt to try intermittent fasting. We all do it anyway, since intermittent fasting simply means to go without food for a certain amount of time. We all do that when sleeping. The greatest benefits occur when we push the fast for longer, especially at the 16-hour mark. And based on research, 18 hours may be the ideal time to fast for anti-aging benefits, but it doesn't mean you have to fast for 18 hours daily. Some might only do it once or twice a week. 
you might even experience benefits doing intermittent fasting just a couple times a week. The great thing about it is it's flexible to your schedule. If you want to try intermittent fasting, always consult with your doctor, especially if you take medication that could be impacted by fasting. Don't forget that intermittent fasting is just one tool to help you live a long, high-quality life. Frequent exercise, sleep, a social life, brain activities, and having a purpose can all extend the duration and impact of your life. Sleep and brain activities are especially important to lower the risk of dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and other mental diseases. This is according to a review in the Journal of Internal Medicine and a review article in Nature Reviews Neurology. We hope this video was helpful. This was brought to you by Lucas Health. Thanks for watching.